Happy World Turtle Day, everyone. We're here at the Arboretum to chat about one of my favorite animals, the turtle. And here in Ontario, we're really lucky to have eight different species of turtles. Unfortunately, seven of those are listed as species at risk. The only one that isn't quite yet are the Midland Painted Turtles, like this little guy here, who's got nice, bright, colorful yellow and orange markings along their neck and shell. Now, turtles have a reputation for moving slowly. Now, they do move fairly quickly when they want to. They are on the move at this time of year. The hatchlings are heading back to the wetlands, leaving their nests, and females are out trying to find good places to make a nest to lay their eggs. They do have a very slow life cycle though. They can live up to 100 years. Snapping turtles are one of the longest lived species that we have in Ontario. And some of the species take between 15 and 20 years to reach reproductive maturity. So it takes a long time for populations to grow. At RBG, we have four different species of turtles that are native and our biologists are working to help protect all of those species but they're paying particular attention to the Blanding's turtle who Christy's holding here. This is B and Blanding's turtles are known for having those bright yellow chins and they always look like they're smiling and they've got these nice high domed shells um, and so they're a really uh, very pretty looking turtle but we don't have very many of them left here at RBG, so we're working extra hard to try and protect them. Now, if you want to learn more about turtles, you can visit us here on Saturday for biodiversity celebration. And there are things that you can do as well to help native turtles. Uh, if you see a turtle crossing the road, if it's safe to do so, please move them in the direction that they're heading. You can also help support initiatives for wildlife corridors like the one RBG is set up along Cooch Drive to help protect turtles crossing the road. And you can document or submit your sightings to uh, citizen science apps such as Ontario Nature's Ontario Reptile and Amphibian Atlas. And that is a program that provides data to scientists so that they can determine the location of different turtle species. So we hope you can join us to learn more about our turtle friends.